Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion, and I call this the crazy troll nation of YouTube, and I call this chapstick. This is sugar cookie. I picked it at random. Today is July 3rd. I know you're going to see this way after, but I hope that your holiday was a good one, that your 4th of July was a good one, and a safe one. Let me get into the intro before I forget, because I really just did almost forget. <laughs> I call this the Crazy Troll Nation because I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, sometimes I really do. The Crazy Troll Nation, just enjoying doing videos. If you do videos, enjoying the channels that you watch. And even if you don't do videos, just enjoying whatever it is you do here on YouTube. Whatever your purpose is for being here. Makeup related, skincare, gaming, podcasts, whatever. Just enjoying your time here. The troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. You set the standard for yourself. Watching videos sometimes we may feel like we need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique because sometimes we hear you need to have this in your collection and to get the best payoff for this type of shadow formula you need to use this type of tool or this type of technique if you want to get your look to be just like this one. There's a lot of factors that go into how your look looks complexion undertone eye shape face shape you know just do you boo boo troll <laughs> wear whatever you want to wear use whatever tools you want to use apply it however you want to apply it because you need to be satisfied with how your makeup looks try not to feel like people on youtube dictate to you what you should look like here at the crazy troll nation we are about self-acceptance and self-love embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never, ever, ever feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, even without face paint on. That is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. Just loving yourself, accepting yourself for who you are and for how you look, wearing whatever you want to wear, and just rocking it because you are the bomb. So that is what the Crazy Troll Nation stands for. And thank you for being here. I do curse on my channel sometimes because I curse in real life sometimes. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do hope what TCTN stands for resonates with you. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. This video, you know what we're doing. We're still in Pat McGrath. <laughs> And today's palette is Mothership number four, which is Decadence. This is all metallic. For me, some of the shadows do blend out into mattes. And so I hear a lot of people say it's a great companion palette, but I've only ever used it by itself. But that's just me. And this is the only one that smells like vanilla. <gasps> it smells so good. And I normally don't like scented makeup but this is this is really nice so we're going to do a look with this and this is the shirt that i am wearing today i don't match my makeup to my clothes which is awesome because none of these would go with what i'm wearing <laughs> unless i put this all over the lid and just left it but anyway we're going to do a look with this palette today and on my face fenty brow pencil pet primer Estee Lauder concealer under eye and around this area here and here where I have that mark. And what did I do? Oh, the Pat foundation in M18. That's the only thing one I didn't powder down yet. And I'm really digging how it looks. But anyway, we, go, we will powder down later. Um, it is 86 degrees right now. It is about 1230 in the afternoon. I am, this is me just smoothing out the concealer so that it it doesn't crease as much. Because my wrinkles are going to come through eventually, you see that? But at least when my face is relaxed for now, <laughs> we're going to try and just get them smooth. Yeah, let's just get started. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking just simple, like this, this, and this. But then part of me wants to do this this and this but i think that would be way off from what i'm wearing says me who just said i don't match my makeup to my clothes but i think the grays will be easier to digest but then i do want to put the blues on my lower lash line so that's gonna be like okay what 
girl, what you doing? But we're gonna do that. So we're gonna take Divine Mink, this shade here, and we're still doing the outward inward. So today, as I said, is July 3rd, and I had all of these videos in my calendar to do for month of McGrath, and then it was, hey, so-and-so's having a cookout. And I'm like, oh. So now my dilemma is, do I pack makeup to take with me? I don't know. I am staying at one of my uncle's houses. I don't know what the lighting is going to be like in the room that I'm in. I don't even remember if I've seen any of the rooms <laughs> upstairs at his house. He's been he's lived there for a while, so I'm sure I have. Like when he first moved in, but he's been there for a, a while. And so I don't know how the lighting is going to be. And then I'm thinking if I take anything, I'm going to have to take... Uh, my tripod which is not a big deal when I travel I travel light as possible I just take my backpack and it does have a laptop compartment in it and it is a huge bag like it holds a lot um, but I'm just thinking do I want to take my makeup and tripod and brushes and then it turns out that there's not adequate lighting to even do a video or when I wake up am I going to feel like <laughs> doing my makeup but then if I don't it's going to throw me off a day because I have everything planned out yeah I'm one of those people that plan stuff out and so I'm not sure and also the other thing is we were doing motherships first so the next one would be mothership number five which is Ron seduction and I'm not traveling with the motherships which I could though because it'll just be in my car but sometimes you know people be moving your bags and moving your stuff and if somebody were to like move my bag or just like toss it on the floor and they break my palette, I'm gonna be pissed. I think I'm slanted. Anyway, so then I was thinking, what if I didn't take a mothership? I do have two quads I haven't used yet, but because I haven't used them yet, one is the Blitz Astral. Is that what it's called? Blitz Astral Quad. And I am excited to use this, but I feel like. Number one, sometimes her quads are fragile. This is Venusian Sunrise. And so I'll probably pair those two together. I'm not sure. But I don't know if I want to take those because Bliss Astral Quad, those shades in there, I feel like I'm going to want to be in my comfortable area, like my familiar surroundings. Because if something goes wrong, I can fix it and I'll have everything right here versus whatever I take, that's going to be what I have. You know what I mean? And so then I thought maybe if I take one of my quints, which would really throw me off. And I have the Star Wars quint, which which is um, like a, what does that one look like? This one, the golden one. So I was thinking of taking that. I have done a look with that before, but since this is a month of McGrath, I do kind of want to stick with McGrath, even though I have a cheek coming up. And this one is called Bronze Bliss. And so I'm thinking of maybe taking this one and doing another look for tomorrow, but I'm undecided. And <laughs> I say it often, I wish I could hear you. And even if I post on my community tab today, I'll be leaving home in like an hour. And I do need to stop at BJ's to pick up pies. My contribution to the cookout is pies. And so I'm going to go pick that up. Part of me just wants to go to Giant, which is Super G. Because I feel like, I think... BJ's is going to be crowded and I don't want to be in there long and even though it's air conditioned in there when it's hot outside and if it's crowded it's going to be hot and I don't want to be standing in line you know for 20 minutes just for two pies but the appeal to going to BJ's is the pies are huge and when my family come together to eat they come together to eat we're going to flip the brush over and go into Enigma, this shade here. Wow, y'all. Like, I I kind of want to take a blue because I love those the blues in here. Actually, I love every shadow in here. And so that's my dilemma is, do I take makeup to do a look or not? And then also with that, I'm going to want to wash my brushes, which means I do have a brush roll. And it does have, um, I guess, the sleeve type things where you can put your brushes, the bristles in it. And there's a holder for the handle part. And I can just, you know, 
wash them and then put them in there and they'll dry in there. So I could do that or just wait till I get home since I'll be home tomorrow. So I'm only going for overnight. And I do wash my brushes within 24 hours of using them. And so even if I did my face there and just washed my brushes when I got home, that would still be within that time frame. So I, I'm unsure. And also it would be like my non-expensive brushes. I do have um, an Esom brush bulk. And I do have a bunch of like Real Techniques brushes in there and just like some other miscellaneous brushes that I used to travel with. So if something happens to them, like I would not be upset like at all. And so that's another thing too, is what I would use. I'm gonna flip back to the first side. What I would use as far as application would be different than what I would use here. And so I'm just unsure. We're gonna take a clean brush and we're going to go into Sterling, this shade here. I think this will be the most ethereal look, even though it's the smoky one that I've done so far in this series, even though part one is supposed to be ethereal looks. I am a little, I did not tap this off. These are all metallics, but this one looks a little shimmery. This is very monochromatic. Y'all know I want to take a black somewhere. <laughs> but you know what? I think we're going to leave it like this. We're going to go back again to that first brush that had this outer corner shade on it. Because something is looking funky to me like right here. I did have a shade out for transition. But because I took my lid shade so far up, I don't think it's going to look right. So we'll probably just leave it like this like we've been doing. And so back to Sterling for our inner corner. And I'm not even tapping off, so I'm just pressing to get it to stick to the primer, and then we're just bringing it over. I'm not even going to take a sponge tip applicator. This time I am tapping off, and it is some tapping off. Um, I'm not even going to take a sponge tip applicator to intensify this shade, because I don't want to deal with fallout, even though I didn't powder down yet. So we're tapping off again. And we're just going to press this right here. And that did intensify. So, and these are dry brushes, y'all. We're going to go back to the first brush, but that had the center shade on it. And we're going to, hmm, just going to sweep this way. So, I don't know whether to take makeup or not. And also, I don't know, you know, how much space I'm going to have. And again, the lighting. And if I take a bunch of stuff and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do my face. And then I get there and either I don't feel like it or I feel like it, but I don't have the space like to put my stuff out or the lighting is really bad. Then it's going to be like, why did I bring this stuff? And not that it's a lot, but it can be a lot because primer, foundation, powder, bronzers, blushes, eye primer, your eyeshadow palette, and, and then just packing all of that stuff up. This is a nice look. I'm really digging this. So we're going to take, I was going to say that I'll tell you what the name of the shadows were. I am going to put the blue underneath and that's going to not look right. It's going to just make this look darker. <laughs> um, so that's my dilemma. And what I should have did, it might not have mattered is when I got up, I should have put on my community tab, like, should I take makeup? But then by the time I would have received your answers, I might have already been gone. <laughs> That's a question I should have asked like days ago, to be honest. But I didn't think about it till like yesterday because when I was looking at my calendar at things I had to do or wanted to do, it wasn't until like last night I'm like, hmm, my filming skills is going to be thrown off. And then I'm like, do I want to do a look? So I don't know. So let me know how your holiday was. What, did you do anything special for 4th of July? Do you not celebrate? And, no, and normally I don't. Um, get to, holidays for me are just for hanging out with family. We're going to take Lapis Luxury, this shade here, and just having a good time, reminiscing, having a good meal, just sitting around. This is going to go on the first half of the lid. 
that to me is what holidays are for. I don't particularly celebrate holidays. When you look at the history of holidays, it's just like, why are we celebrating this? And that's why I don't, like when I actually looked up the holidays and what they were for, it was just like, that's not something I want to celebrate. And so if you want to know more details, just Google whatever particular holiday and see how it started, why it started. And that'll answer some of your questions. I love that shade. We're going to take Underworld, this shade here. This is a deeper blue. And that's going to go on the outer portion of the lid. And we're going to overlap that in the middle. This is nice. I'm excited to see my little cousin. She did say she would like the, um, that gold <laughs> highlighter and love struck. And I was telling her, you know, they were luxury brand. And she's like, oh my gosh, I've never had luxury makeup. And she is 13. So she's not out here shopping, you know, Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. But I'm excited to, for her to try them and to see if she likes them. I know she's going to like the gold, the gold highlighter, but I'm just excited for her. Actually, I'm always excited to give something a happy home and I'm not trying to spoil her with luxury brands. And if anything, I'll be like, girl, go to the CCO and get you some Tom Ford <laughs> when it's on sale. I am going to stop off at the outlets because there's an outlet on the way. It's kind of out of the way, but on the way. Um... So I just want to see. I know they're having 4th of July sales. And they are open tomorrow from 10 to 4. I think 10 to 6. But I really don't think I would make it tomorrow. And so I'm going to go today just to see. I don't have anything in mind that I want to get. But if you've been to a CCO, you're going to find something. Because the prices are so low. My eye is tearing. So what we're going to do now... I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line. Um, yeah, I'm going to line my upper lash line. I don't know about even putting on mascara and stuff like that because it is so hot outside. And, yeah, so I don't know. So we're going to take this concealer brush. This eye, this eye was tearing all morning. Well, since I got up this afternoon. So I'm going to do upper lash line liner. We're going to do mascara. Actually, we're not going to do mascara because it'll be easier to remove my makeup. That's another thing too, with taking remover wipes um, and the micellar water. So we're going to line upper lash line. We're going to powder down the face. We're going to put on bronzer. I think we're just going to put on Desert Orchid because that's just easy, not too much to think about. And we will probably just put on this gloss, which is Astro Moonflower. So we're going to do all of that and we are going to come back. I will say the more that I use this liner, the felt tip, the more I actually like it. I do want to do lower waterline, but I'm, it's starting to wear down. And I know I've spoken about how I'm skeptical about using them after I sharpen them. But I do really like this though. I wish it was retractable. So if I keep using this, I am going to have to sharpen it, period. Because it's, it's down to the nub. The nub, nub. Not even enough length to do my upper um, lash line. So you know what? Let's go ahead and powder down. I do have brushes here. This is the medium light 2 or light medium 2 powder. And so I'm pressing the brush in it. Very gently setting that down, taking the cap, <laughs> and we're going to set our face. And it shows you how damp my face still is because you can see where the powder is and where it's not. Because I do prefer to use like a big fluffy brush, like a super huge fluffy brush before this I have to not do that so we're going back in again and 
and we're powdering oh, down the face. I really do like this powder. I wish there was a shade between medium light two. Well, I should say light medium two and medium three. Because if it was, this would definitely be a contender for the Fashion Fair Truly Tawny or even um, the Hourglass powder, which I really like. And I've been putting off opening the Hourglass one I have because I purchased the hat one and I have the Fashion Fair one already open, and so I, I didn't want to have three loose powders open. But um, this is just too light for me. So you see what this did. I am really liking, <coughs> excuse me, the Estee Lauder concealer with um, what are we doing with this powder with the Pat McGrath foundation. I realize I'm, my energy is kind of off today, and I think it's because I just got up not too long ago, and I'm trying to, in, in, on my mind, excuse me, is, you know, stuff that I still need to do before I get out the door, and so I'm just, in a way I feel, I don't want to say I feel distracted, why do I look like I'm sitting well, because I probably am, and my screen is all sorts of crooked, um, so yeah, I'm just kind of feeling out of sorts a little bit. And I wasn't ready to get up. I wasn't ready to get out of bed. But then I'm thinking, okay, I need to go to BJ's on my way before I get on the highway. And wanting to go down to the CCO and to my uncle's house. It's about, <clears throat> it's a little over a two hour drive. And... I was like, okay, I do want to get another video done. And I am taking my laptop with me. So tonight I'll be editing and scheduling this video. <sighs> if you do videos, let me know what your schedule is. Excuse me if you heard my throat gurgle. <laughs> that reminded me. I'm going to need to pick up something to eat um, while I'm driving. I did drink some Bolt House Farms Amazing Mango. No, no, no. It was the green goodness. Excuse me, that powder's in my throat. At BJ's, they did have amazing mango, but the Best Buy date had already passed. So I'm like, I'm not buying it. And it still is good, even if the Best Buy date has passed. But I would have been like, okay, I need to hurry up and drink it once I open it. And then I didn't want to have to worry about that. The green goodness, they were, the Best Buy date was like a month later. And so I just bought some of those. If you don't really eat a lot of salads or fruits and vegetables, which I do eat a lot of salads, um, Bold House Farms is good because it is just fruits and vegetables. And they have different flavors. My favorite is Amazing Mango. I like the green goodness too, but to me that's just, okay, I need my vegetables and my fruits. Whereas for me, the Amazing Mango it's like an actual snack. Like if I like if I want junk food or if I just want something like super tasty and delicious and I'm not hungry though. Have you had those times when you're just like, I just want to just have something that tastes good. I'll drink some amazing mango because it's fruits and vegetables and it tastes like mango. Like it is so good. So to me, that's just like a snack thing. <laughs> or if I just want something and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to eat another candy bar. That was the Bronze Divinity. I'm going to take Desert Glow. I'm going to go back to Bronze, Div Bronze Divinity because I want to put some more on my chin, like right here. <clears throat> but I am liking this combination. The powder isn't horrible, but it is too light. I do have to use primer. I'm sorry. Y'all like, why are you doing this video and you're in the state of mind you're in? Because that's what we do here. We just do videos. Like, you you, you will see me. If you've been here, even, you know, a few months, you've seen me in so many different capacities. <laughs> like, whatever was going on with me, like, I'm here. You know, how they say life doesn't stop. Just whatever happens, just roll with it. So that's what we do. We roll with it. Roll with it. That's what we do here. And now we're going to take Desert Orchid. I'm going to take a different brush. I'm, I want to just kind of leave this. I think I am going to leave this. Do I want to leave this? <laughs> we're, we're, we are going to leave that, but we are going to take more. Wait a minute. What did I just put on? Did I just put on Desert Glow or Desert Orchid? 
That was desert. Yeah, this, it was desert glow. I can tell because it's powder around the outside, which is what happens when I use it. So that really was desert glow. So we're just going to put some more of that there. That there. What is wrong with me? What's wrong with me as opposed to any other day? <laughs> so we're going to take... Oh, don't drop stuff. Um, did we use this brush? No, I wouldn't use that brush. We're going to use the highlighter, the same one, the only one I have, Venusia Nude. And we're going to just wipe this right here. I am going to spray my face today because it's hot out, it's humid out. And I want to see, is it going to work? Even though I'll be in my car and of course I have the AC bumping. But still, uh, and the CCO, that's the only store I want to go to over there. I'm not going into the coach store. I am not. We're going to take the brush that had Desert Glow, and we're just going to blend or sweep over top of where we put the highlighter. Putting the highlighter there. I got fallout. I just noticed that because I saw this dark patch right here, and I'm like, what is that? I got fallout over here too. I didn't even notice it. Do I dare? Because I was looking at my under eye area like what? Oh, you know what? I have some dried up foundation <laughs> on this palette. So we're going to see if we can scrape some off and put it over top of the fallout. And it's not really... Because I don't want to do the concealer. So we're just going to take a little bit of the foundation. Oh, I didn't mean to take that much. Uh, I didn't mean to tap on my chin. That was out of habit. So tap that. Now, mind you, we just put on like all of these powders, right? <laughs> I am messing up my face. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I was looking like, what is wrong with my face? This is the brush we use for our foundation. Did we fix it? I'm looking kind of. I mean, we got the we got we we got rid of the fallout. Not all of it, because I see like a streak right here. Y'all, I be trying to fix things. Let me know if this is helpful. Like, if you see me trying to fix stuff, and also fashion food pie here. If I use that word correctly in the sentence, putting liquids on top of powders. So let me know. I think we got rid of the fallout. So now what we need to do, child, take some more powder. <laughs> we are doing the most here. And I'm thinking this video is going to be nice and short. So just this tiny bit, we're going to pat, pat there, and a pat, pat here, there, a pat, there, a pat. Everywhere, Pat Pat with Pat McGrath products. Did we do it? I think we did it. So we're going to take again the brush we use for the highlighter. Not adding anything to it, but we're going to, maybe I should add a little bit more to it. Yeah, let's add a little bit more to it. Because I can see where I just put that foundation. So we're just going to put some highlighter right here. Let me know if you try to fix looks or if you're just like, oh, shoot. Or do you just take like a makeup remover wipe and just like take it off and start over? And I know some people do that. If they have fallout, they'll just kind of scrap the look. They'll just remove this whole thing. And then um, <clears throat> redo their eye look. I think that looks better. So we're going to take, as I said, Astro Moon Flower. We're just going to put this over top of Chapstick. And this is nice over a black lipstick because of the dual chrome aspect of it. I'm always saying something looks good over black lipstick. That is my vibe. A black lipstick. And I want to amp it up. Put a gloss on top. So this is today's look. 
with this shirt. <laughs> We're not going to do mascara. I kind of want to. I'm going to have my glasses on today. Maybe I'll switch the contacts later once I get to where I'm going. But we will see. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of the cleanup. And that will be it for this video. Again, I hope you had a safe 4th of July weekend. If you had the weekend off and you celebrated over the weekend or a family get together or hanging out with friends, or if you actually did have off on the 4th, and I think most people do, depends on your job. If you did have your family get together or friend gathering on the 4th, I hope you had a good time and I hope all of you were safe and you will see me in the next video. As always, self-acceptance, self-love, that is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you and you will see me soon.